Hello guys, my name is Alejandra. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. It's so nice to have you. I hope that you'll like me enough to go ahead and stick around. So don't forget to subscribe down below. So as you can tell by the title of this video, this video is going to be a how I reached my goal weight. And also how I did it, what I did, the process. I lost eight-ish pounds, which is exactly what I wanted to lose, kind of. Um, it's kind of like my goal weight. So I achieved that, and I'm going to be letting you guys know how I do that and what I'm doing to try to maintain my goal weight and just how I'm working to keep up with it. But I am going to be talking a lot, but just know that the things that I'm saying are things that I actually truly believe that is what really, really helped me. So yes, anyways, let's just go ahead and get started with the video. So basically, what I'm gonna be showing you guys right now is my before picture. I'm gonna be putting it right here, and it's really embarrassing, but I don't care. I'm just going to show you guys. So this is my before picture. This is where I started. This was um, towards the very end of December, and I looked at myself. I was like, whoa, girl, like something is wrong with you. So. I decided that I was gonna do something. The thing that I started doing was intermittent fasting. And if you don't know what intermittent fasting is, basically you um, eat for a whole solid eight hours and you are off of it for 16 hours. So basically what I did is I would eat from 11 to seven. At seven I would have my last meal, at 11 I would have my first meal. With that you can kind of um, choose your range, whichever works best for you. That's just a time that worked best for me and that's what I did. So I would I would do intermittent fasting and I noticed that whenever I was doing that automatically like it was just like a solid switch change like I could feel the difference in me before I would be eating like at 9 at 12 I'd be having a snack maybe it was like 1 30 in the morning and I would be eating some cookies some chips or whatever and I just didn't feel good like in the morning I would wake up and I did not feel good at all so I could tell that something was definitely off about me I could see it I could just everything so you're not eating for 16 hours you just go ahead and you do that and you start that some people say it's a lifestyle some people say that it's just like you can't really you can't realistically eat for eight hours every single day for the rest of your life I was like okay I do not want to look like this so then I went ahead and I started intermittent fasting I did it for about a month and two weeks and I finally achieved my weight goal and I was happy I was happy with the way that I looked I was way happy with the way that I felt and it was just like a sudden change in me that I absolutely loved it so basically that's what I did intermittent fasting 11 to 7 every single day and with working out and stuff I haven't really had the time to work out and I hate that because you make time for what you want to do. There was just so many things going on that I didn't really prioritize working out, which is something that I regret because I feel like if I would have done the intermittent fasting with working out, maybe even bigger results. But as of right now, for that whole month, what I did was just focus on eating throughout that time and eating right. And whenever I say eating right, what I mean by that is I'm not saying that I would eat the healthiest because the heavens know that I do not eat healthy, but I also don't eat bad and I don't eat more than I should be eating. Um, I would not eat out as much. I wouldn't eat as much bread because I love bread and bread is something that I feel like really played a big pact on me gaining weight. But I would try to pick healthier options. Like if I go out to eat instead of getting this big meal, I would just do something that was light and like that I could finish and I wouldn't be overstuffed because sometimes I do realize that we have extra food there so we just feel like we need to eat it because it's there but if you're full don't eat it you know like it's just like don't overfeed yourself because once you're overfeeding yourself that's whenever you start to gain weight also another thing that really helped was water and I know in every single weight loss video and every single video that you see you're gonna see people say drink water drink water drink water because it's true literally drink your water wake up drink your water and then drink some more and then more and more and more just drink as much water as you possibly can personally for me i don't drink anything else besides water water is the only thing that i drink i go out to restaurants water i go um to hang out with my friends water whatever whatever i'm doing i'm constantly drinking water so I showed you guys my before picture and I'm going to show you guys my after picture right here basically to tie it all together. 
so yes so i did do intermittent fasting it did help me lose eight ish pounds i got to my goal weight and what do i do now what do i do now that i've lost the weight like i'm happy but how do i keep that this is going to be the hardest part about everything how to maintain your weight how to keep the weight after you've lost it i strongly believe that this in general is the hardest part for everybody and i'm going to be telling you guys what i do to try to maintain my weight stay where i'm at not gain weight and not be losing weight constantly because that's not a healthy cycle but before i proceed with what i personally like to do i just want to say like a little disclaimer i'm not like anything like i am just me and this is what i did this is what worked for me and i just want to share it with you guys just in case you guys are having trouble and you guys need a little bit of advice but i'm no way shape form or anything trying to suggest that you guys need to copy everything that i did and that you're going to strictly lose eight pounds how I maintain my weight the first thing that I have to remind myself every single day is that food is not something that you should be just going out to eat because you're bored okay that is where you need to draw the line I am the kind of person I'm bored I will run to the kitchen get a snack and come back like if I'm angry I'll go to the kitchen get a snack come back and that's just what I do like food is just something that has become a habit for me to eat even though I'm not hungry and I don't like that and with intermittent fasting it really really made me feel the feeling of hungry again which I really liked because before that I I honestly could not remember what hungry felt like because I was constantly eating to number one do not just eat because of your emotions tip number two would be again to drink your water make sure that you're constantly drinking water make sure that you're constantly staying hydrated because most of the time you're not even hungry you're not even craving a snack your body is just craving this guy right here and once you take a sip of water you feel fine and you feel refreshed and you you're better so i constantly drink water which would be tip number two tip number three would be if you are like me and you don't like going to the gym like a lot of times like don't get me wrong i like going to the gym there's just times when i'm just like no like i'll just put it off or there's times whenever i'm like you know what like i don't want to go work out today if you are like me at all in that aspect something that i like to do is to go to the gym for at least five minutes i mean <laughs> five minutes for at least 30 minutes walk on the treadmill um at incline try to get your like heart moving a little bit and just make sure that you're active for at least 30 minutes because at that point you are getting your body like movement you're exercising even if it's just 30 minutes it's something and it's way better than nothing so what i like to do is whenever i don't like to go to the gym or i don't want to go to the gym the thing that i make myself do is at least go for 30 minutes on a walk go for 30 minutes um to walk on the treadmill or outside or just something that involves 30 minutes of getting my heart pumping and actually making it you know like pump if you think about it and you're just constantly like doing nothing throughout the whole day and you're eating you're not going to be burning any calories other than the ones that your body naturally burns and the things that you eat are just going to be there but if you go every single day 30 minutes and you're getting some form of exercise at the end of the day you are going to be burning some extra calories and you're going to be able to maintain that weight which is exactly what we want so yes those are basically my tips to how i maintain my weight don't get me wrong i go out to eat sometimes and i do all that stuff but whenever i do go out to eat or whenever i go get an ice cream or whenever i go get whatever it may be a smoothie or whatever i'm always very very mindful of what i do like if i go get an ice cream i'm not going to be getting a double dip every single time it's about like craving like you crave something so you go and you get the ice cream but you're not overdoing it so you're getting your ice cream you're satisfying that craving you're not overdoing it by getting two scoops of ice cream and also i want to tell you guys to not be afraid of food don't be like scared of it just because you eat one cookie does not mean that you're going to fall back on your whole weight loss journey just because you go out and you have one drink it doesn't mean that you're like going to start like excessively gaining weight and stuff like that it's all about honestly portion control and controlling yourself having self-control and just realizing that what you're putting into your body is going to affect you so make the right choices okay guys so basically that is 
what I did to lose weight and get to my goal weight and this is how I am maintaining it. This is how I'm staying focused and how I'm able to kind of control what I eat. Also, I want to tell you guys that I did not cut anything out. I would still eat whatever I wanted, but obviously with self-control. If you're trying to reach your summer body or whatever, just know that nothing is easy. Trust me, after a while you will start seeing results. So don't give up just because you don't see them the first week or the second week. Keep going, keep your mindset straight, know why you're doing this, and you will see results. Just keep working hard. Before I end off this video, I do want to say that you are honestly perfect and beautiful and exactly the way you should be. You do not need to lose weight or gain weight to feel prettier. You do not have to be a specific weight to be pretty. Like I'm I'm not encouraging that at all. This is just what helped me and what makes me feel better. But if you like the way that you look and you are happy and confident with yourself that is honestly what it's all about the point is to love yourself for who you are and love yourself for what you have to offer and love yourself for the person that you are on the inside and not your weight not the number on the scale not the size of your shirt you are beautiful in your own way and that's that's literally it. So I wanted to make sure that you guys know that and I want to make sure that you guys strongly believe that and just know that happiness comes from within and if you're not happy with within, no matter what you do to yourself, nothing else is going to matter because you're not happy from within. So I just wanted to go ahead and let you guys know that little spiel. So anyways guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.